a rainy Friday. I'm running late as usual to meet up with Lydia. theorists um we've got the latest trump news for you well the latest world news but of course that just involves trump he's got to always make it about him um which is funny apparently this week john mccain he must be like thinking about his deathbed because uh apparently he said he doesn't want trump to come to his funeral <laughs> yeah so this week we've got the iran deal uh, some more details on Michael Cohen, just how far was he going or <clears throat> going to sell his access to the president. And then uh, Gina, Gina Haspel, she's went to her hearing, her Senate confirmation hearing, got grilled. We're going to play a little clip to talk about that. As most people are probably expecting, Trump has been saying how he's going to pull out of the Iran deal since he's been campaigning. It came time, and what did Trump do? He pulled out. <laughs> I wish he did that for fucking Eric and what's the dumbass one's name? Donald Trump Jr. Yeah. <laughs> Would he fucking pulled out? Even maybe for Ivanka, because she's just a, like, nah. Nah. No, nope. nah. he doesn't pull out when you want him to, but... Nah, he didn't pull out because he knew he's going to get a girl and he eventually gets the fucker. <laughs> you know that's going to be his death wish, or before he... That's gonna be his final meal before like the electric chair. I'm gonna be eat Ivanka's pussy. That's gonna be what's gonna happen. This shit. Oh god. Why did I start saying that shit? I forgot what we're talking about. Yeah, but oh boy. Okay. Um yeah. <laughs> Well, so the world is pretty pissed off. There are quite a few other countries invested in the Iran deal but they're apparently staying in the European countries are yeah um, they've been preparing for this though yeah and yeah. They, they already gave up on the US a while ago like last year summer yeah probably since Trump pulled out of the Paris Agreement yeah. they just knew they couldn't yeah. really count on the US also Plus, on, 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 they can't really count on Britain too but Britain is not as bad as the US so but even Britain is holding, staying in, in these agreements. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, I think Britain seems to have, like, a whole lot of regret about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they wish they didn't fucking do that shit. Yeah. Because now they're fucked. Off, like, some hype shit. Mm-hmm. Like, it was literally just the popular thing for the minute. Because the dude, the dude put a fucking bus. He put this, the fucking pull out of the, like, brick. What's it called? Brexit. On the fucking side of a bus. Mm-hmm. Going around the whole fucking city It was a public transport bus Convincing all the dumbass people Yo I saw that shit on a fucking bus so Let's do that shit Like nah Yeah and so um, I don't know some folks are saying You know nothing's gonna happen While others I guess uh, French President Macron Said uh, He's predicting the this the pull out of Iran deal could lead to, or the U.S. pull out of Iran deal could lead to war. And also, Iran said they're going to restart their nuclear program. Yeah, they said that like basically immediately. But then, it yeah, but, but they they said it not just because the U.S. They say if the other countries don't uphold their side, so if mm-hmm. if the deal falls apart, that's it. So, but the other countries seem to have got it. So they have, a, so Iran seems to respect the other countries. They're just warning them, don't fuck this up. Mm-hmm. Well, and I'm sure they're not at all excited about sanctions, and yeah, apparently that's all all the like a, Amer- American countries that are there are having to like wrap up their business mm-hmm. and, and get the hell out of there. 
I guess Macron's prediction is though that uh, it will increase tensions between Iran and Israel and yeah because Israel already says Iran funds terrorism and shit so yeah basically uh, people are worried that it'll just escalate the situation between Israel and Iran did Russia have anything to say about this no really Russia's Russia is enjoying this shit watching the US implode because yeah. you know, you know, they even they didn't think Trump would win. Because they they just wanted to create a distraction and fuck shit up for the U.S., like cause chaos and let watch it burn. And this is better than anything they could have paid for. All the money they gave Trump was worth this shit. Because they don't have to do shit anymore. All they need to do is still run the Twitter bots, but they're cool. They're cool with that. Okay, um, another th- possibility, people are saying that it could uh, stoke an arms race between Saudi Arabia and Iran. If Iran starts developing nuclear weapons, then other countries, neighbor countries such as Saudi Arabia, will want to compete. Um, oil prices have started to rise, but apparently Saudi Arabia is promising they're going to stabilize the market. So, and, yeah, apparently they have the means to do so. Yeah. And then, I don't know, yeah, apparently there was an attack from Iran on Israel already. Israel retaliated, killing up to 23 Iranians. So, this just stoked a bunch of this chain reaction of some dumb shit again. But, shit. Yeah, but, I mean, I guess... Things could possibly still work out, just this goes to show you, like, we really can't count on the U- the U.S. Yeah, they, to stick to its agreements. Um, but, and then that also is interesting because, yeah, now we're uh, about to begin this, a similar conversation with North Korea. North Korea doesn't trust the U.S. for shit, and now they really never will. This was just a bad fucking move. Yeah. You know, Loki, if Rex Tillerson was still on the job, he would have said no. Because even he was not this dumb. So speaking of that, Trump uh, or Pompeo is meeting with uh, Kim Jong Un. Do you don't even care. What I'm thinking about is what if they kidnap him? That would be the funniest shit, yo. Like that. That would be some perfect North Korea shit. Like Pompeo walks into their country, gets kidnapped, and now they hold a little bit of power. Trump would probably say, fuck it, just kill him. And that would be dope to see too. Because then Republicans would turn on him. Anyway, this shit would be fun. A lot, that guy wants to I will say up. this, a lot of very He's good things have happened. Flight. I really think he wants to do something <laughs> and is about to bring turn. that country into the real world. I really believe that, John, and I think I think that Who is John? we're going to have a success. I think this will be a very big success. That asked so Did I anybody ask him a question? All, it's very early in the morning. Oh, God. Uh, stop this. I think you probably broke you just wasted the old time, time my brother. in history television the fact rating. Okay. My brother is how much time you wasted. That I would say. But I want to just congratulate. These are three. Yeah, so anyway, I guess that's where we are with the world. So um, Where we are with the world is Michael Cohen. That's where we should have been 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Michael Cohen, stop yeah. this shit. I don't know what I'm going to say, but I, f- I fucked up. I just got mad. But Michael Cohen has been doing deals with the, with AT&T to basically influence the government. He got paid 600000 for for some shit. Yeah, and what's know. actually wild about this whole thing is like so a porn but michael avenetti like that that's stormy daniels lawyer and mm-hmm. like a porn star's lawyer is like people think somebody breaking paying, shit yeah out. somebody think people think a billionaire is behind michael avetti some people think that that michael avetti is being paid by some a left billionaire I, to, to could be i shit. mean because like Yo, it's kind of crazy like yeah he's fucking yeah but also, he's wild he's, yeah. he's going all out <laughs> he's non-stop he, appearing he, on the he news he doesn't even like, seem like a, a democrat though he seems like yeah stormy isn't a democrat too but it seems like they're just working to bring down trump and it, like they're just well helping. yeah i mean you saw her on saturday night live yeah, like yeah. that was crazy she's on saturday night live like she, in she, a skit about the she president hates those saying, kind of people though she's a straight up republican yeah but like 
someone is paying them. But she's like, I, I get that what she's doing is right because of all that shit. But like, why is she getting the money? Like Andrew Schultz told a story about her stripping in fucking 2017 for a room of like 10 men in wherever she's wherever she's from Texas, Dallas, or some shit. Yeah. Like nah, that was so close ago. And that was when she that was around a couple months after she got the hundred and thirty thousand. So like she doesn't have enough money to be bankrolling this fucking guy when she's stripping in the middle of the fucking day. Like no. <laughs> I think he's talked about that. I don't really know. Someone but is he's paying that shit. I don't I could see him like he's so into it that he could just be doing it like pro bono. No, hell no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This, Dude, to this be a the of, lawyer that brought down the president, I mean, he'll be... You need to get paid still. You, your family can't be going broke. You come home and be like, yo, I'm this much closer to bringing Trump back, but you got to eat these potatoes that you just baked in the microwave. Like, uh, you no. know, I'm sure he's probably getting paid. I wouldn't doubt yeah. it, but it's like... He's not going to go broke with this shit. He's spending all his time. Like, for a lawyer, t- your time is your money. You get paid by the hour. So, like, if you're spending, like, a day waiting on fucking CNN to finally bring you on air and shit like nah yeah so I don't know I mean I guess you're saying like it's just it's, basically it's like being bankrolled by someone yeah but I mean are you saying it's like being like unfairly politicized no like, no I'm saying I'm saying some Democrat has finally figured out what Republicans have been doing for a minute <laughs> and they use the most creative in like who would have thought a fucking porn star as a lawyer <laughs> would be the person he's commenting on the on the Mueller shit about shit that he he's predicting is gonna happen and shit is actually happening. Yeah, and then like, it, but like, yeah, every bit of evidence he gets, like, he pops on the yeah. news and is like, "Yep, got this." Here, and like, that's the new AT and T thing, and like, that's yeah, it, and he it, teases shit. He 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 builds suspense for everything that he's about to say by his tweets. Yeah, he just posts some- well, also then didn't like people like some republicans were like casting doubt because he didn't release the sources but then at&t like confirmed the yeah. the payment <laughs> and so like they were just looking for yeah because the new york times would have eventually found that shit out in a day yeah like no they didn't have a choice because now now with the social media and everything if it's out there there's a reporter that is called immediately they're like yo did you see this yeah i'm already working on it like nah but yeah, so AT and T that payment was made also, so they they needed it for consulting on the new administration. But that was also while the AT and T Time Warner merger yeah. was pending. It's a bribe. The Atlanta Journal Constitution. A shell company that Michael D. Cohen used to pay hush money to a pornographic film actress received payments totaling more than one million dollars. From American company linked to Russian oligarch and several corporations with business before the Trump administration, according to documents and interviews. <clears throat> so yeah, uh so basically he was that dude. He was the go between that you see in every Russian American movie about Russian people. Yeah. He was the go between between the villain and he's a he's a top henchman. So, pay, unreported for, for transactions were payments last year of about $500,000 from Columbus Nova, an investment firm in New York, whose biggest client is a company controlled by Victor Vexelberg, the Russian oligarch. When they say oligarch, I immediately think has at least $50 billion and another 10 hidden away. Like, those dudes are fucking rich. Yeah. One of those dudes has a has a crazy ass mansion like huge ass mansion with a fucking tower in the middle of the woods this shit looks like some shit from Tron or some shit in the middle of just the woods shit is in a helicopter pad this shit is crazy and he brought a whole ass architecture firm out of out of like retirement to build that shit the last shit that some woman did it I forget before she died shit those uh... but why would Oligarchs want to fuck with America. I get why, but like, because of Putin, but like, why? What's in it for them? Anyway, Michael Cohen is more sh- is more trouble, and we got, always gotta remember that that Mueller is six months ahead of whatever you're seeing right now. So mm-hmm. he's already dealt with this shit. We'll find out about it in two weeks, and then next year we'll find out eventually that he knew about all this shit from the fucking start. 
All I'm saying is that Mueller is a chess master and we're all just watching. We really don't know what's going on. We play checkers. Mm-hmm. He's playing chess. Anyway, that's... What's our show name? Impartial Theorist. <laughs> and why this guy has to go. Yeah. Yeah.